Okay then, this is Cool Dude Clem, the ugliest and fattest thing in the entire universe, in his pitsy of a room, whatever the hell that means, but I won't mention who called my room that, but anyway, here, here I am, vlogging as asked for because, well, some people want me to vlog again. And the reason why I haven't been vlogging is because, well, I just don't have a camera that I can take out with me and do that. As you probably know, I've still got it here actually. My old camera that I fried. I'm just parting that out now so if I can find any good find anything good in it. And I used to also have a what's it now? A handy cam, but that has also quit on me. And I also thought this webcam had quit on me the other day. I plugged it into my computer and it was doing all that weird flickering stuff like it would do if I had a Tesla coil running. But I thought the camera had died, basically. Well, I mean this webcam, I thought this webcam had died. But however, I plugged it into the back USB and it started working again, so uh, that's kind of weird. It doesn't work in the front USB, but it works in the back USB. I don't know if maybe the front USB is slower or something. I'm just getting a few things sorted out, so I'm going to be going in and out the camera like this all the time. And people ask me why I was wearing that hat in the previous videos. Well, this is the reason, because I've got absolutely terrible hair. Actually, that's made it look a bit better, so I can see how I look on the screen. Anyway, yes, I'm getting on with the next video about the tester coils, you know. This thing that produces a lot of sparks. I don't know why when I'm looking at the camera, I look as if I'm looking over there. It's kind of weird. So, I better get this room sorted out. I mean, this bench sorted out, because I've got a ton of crud on there that I really need to sort out before I can do this video. So you can see what goes on behind the scenes as I set up for a Cool Dude Clems electronic workshop. Oh, this is a weird thing I've got to show you with this fluorescent light. I have to turn the lights on and move the camera up close so you can see this, but it's kind of a strange thing I noticed. Alright, there we go. Lights are on. Let me just move the camera over so we can show you exactly what I'm talking about because I'm doing this all in one take oh about this microphone I've decided that I'm not going to use this in my videos anymore because well let me just plug it in and I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about and I'm going back and forth here um, actually I don't know where the... there it is I'm just trying to find the um, plug-in, so, I mean the connector, so I can plug it in and show you what I'm talking about. Right, we should be using, we should, you should be hearing from this microphone now, and it seems to be a bit loud, so I'm just going to turn it down a bit. The trouble is with this microphone is that I'm just doing it quite like that, but you can hear as I move the microphone about, you can hear as I move it about, it's kind of making a lot of noise, so, just going to plug the other microphone back in. Okay, there we go. I mean, I like this microphone, it's got a nice sound to it. Works wonderfully with tape recorders, but it just doesn't like to be moved about. It seems to be really sensitive to that kind of thing, so, alright. Oh yeah, about the fluorescent light I was going to show you. I almost forgot. So I've got a glass of water here. 
and I'm going to put the fluorescent light in the water. And a very strange thing happens. It doesn't explode or light up or anything like that, but it looks very weird when I put it in the water. Hopefully I can get this on the video. Of course, it's not showing up on the camera, but um, hopefully if I can get the camera down a bit, you might notice that the glass around the fluorescent light looks a lot thicker when it's under the water. I mean, that's what we got above the water. And that's what we got in the water. Just kind of weird. Something like that's kind of weird. I don't know why. So if anyone can explain that. There's another weird thing. If you look in the water, it looks as if the fluorescent material below the waterline is just completely evaporated or something. When in fact, when I pull this out of the water, you can see it's still there. That's just crazy. Magic. <laughs> Alright, let me put the camera back where it was so I can continue. Setting up for the next um, Cool Dude Claims Electronic Workshop. You can see the bench there. Here's your magic. <laughs> yeah, oh, I better get this cleared up a bit. I know there's somebody on YouTube who hates the state of this room. Well, that's not your problem, is it? Besides, with everything strewn about all over the place, I can find everything. Uh, there's my gate drive transformer. Let's move my glasses out of the way. I mean glasses as in tumbler glasses, not optical glasses because I don't need those. I've got perfect 2020 vision. Some people would kill to have vision like mine, but eh, what are you gonna do? Anyway, I'm just gonna put all these in here, all these capacitors and other bits and pieces that I'm gonna use in the next video. there are some things about today that I just do not understand. Today's society, mainly. And it's people. People these days are just generally weird. I mean, I know I'm pretty weird, but I'm nothing compared to people of today. People of today, I'm not talking about everybody, but I'm talking about the majority of people today, they are just generally weird. They hate everything that's good and like everything that's bad. Why it is that way, I really don't know, but that seems to be the general way that people are these days. And I'm beginning to think that they actually enjoy experiencing negative emotions. Which is why today's music is always so aggressive or depressing. You know, I think to people today generally enjoy being angry or depressed. In fact, and this is an absolutely true thing. A little while ago, so 2000, maybe 2001, I had this friend who was a teenager, and he was a typical teenager, and one of the things he said to me, and this is absolutely true, I'm not making this up, 
He said, and I quote, I'm happy when I'm depressed. His actual words. It just seemed like such an odd thing to say. I actually used that in one of my cartoons that I made. But it just seems such, such an odd thing to say. I'm happy when I'm depressed. I don't think anybody in today's society has ever experienced happy. They just think they are when they're actually not. So they don't really know what happy actually feels like. So they think they're happy, whereas in the actual fact they're experiencing something completely different. Well, I'm going to set up for the Cool Dude Clams Electronic Workshop now. So if I get another camera, I'm thinking of getting one of those dash cams. One of those dash cam cameras. As long as it's got a screen on the back so I can see what I'm filming. I mean you can get some really cheap ones on eBay for under 20 quid with full 1080p and that'll be good enough for what I need. I mean I don't need anything extremely, extremely good but I might even see, look about if I can get a um, second hand oh what they're called now, digital 8 or 8mm cameras so I can play some of my old tapes again right okay all I need now is just to add a 741 I mean a a triple five timer into this little pot of bits and pieces actually that's I'll leave it like this for now because um, I'll work on the interrupter later I will add one of those 74HC chips when I can find them so yes this is what you wanted just another boring vlog with me talking where you're probably not even paying attention so here it is yeah like I said I wish I could do some out and about with Clem videos but you know without a camera to be able to take out and about with me it's kind of impossible now I'm finding lots of chips in here except the one I'm looking for I know I've got some oh I think that's something hanging on to me there I know Oh yeah, a little 8-pin chip. What are you? This little 8-pin chip made a bid for freedom. See? That's a little five, triple five timer actually. So I will put that in there. I'm just looking for some of my 7-4HC logic chips. There we are. There's the hex inverter I was looking for, so that we can just go in there. And I'll just put in all the other parts that I'm going to use from this breadboard. Over here. And then I think we'll have components for the circuit that I'm going to build. Of course there'll be more about that in the next video. Which I suppose I better get on with right now. So until then or rather until next time, goodbye. <laughs>